Alright guys, it's Bob here and I've got an unboxing for you and I'm going to show you this in use. And this is the Oso Cyclo Mount. Uh, you know, Cyclomount.com, that is obviously their website. And obviously what you can see, as you can tell from this description, that it is a, uh, a phone holder for your push bike, basically. Now it's got some install instructions on there, so you know that'll tell you basically shows you there just how to put it onto your bike and whatever you ensure the screw is tight. So obviously they can't be held responsible for any damages. And if we look inside, you get an Allen key, the Allen bolt. That's a spare nut because I happen to know that there is already one in here. Now there are some bits of uh, rubber, some spare bits of these rubber here for thickening it up for thinner bars and what have you. But basically you clamp that onto your bars, that's your adjuster, that's nice and smooth. Yeah that's really smooth actually that is. That ring locks it up nice and tight. Yeah it is nice and tight that. And then this bit here is, that's it there, there's the adjuster. And that's so that you can put, you know, wider devices in basically. So if you had just a smaller phone, you'd put that like that. This side spring mounted, nice tight spring. It's very tight actually that. And uh, then once it's in, you pull these over the corners of the device. So you're not limited by a case and, you know, um, a set device sort of thing. So you don't, you don't have a case to buy unless you want, you know, obviously you'd have your own case on but you don't have to buy an extra case as you do with some of the more expensive uh, versions for uh, you know for putting things on your bike. So with that in mind, you know, you 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 can lend your bike to somebody technically at the end of the day and their phone can still go in it. Aimed probably more at the leisure and um the commuting market I would say rather than you know your hardcore cyclist, but nevertheless should be perfectly all right for, um, you know, tarmac, bit of green lane maybe, stuff like that. I certainly wouldn't want to go uh, hammering down any uh, steep hills on it. Not off-road anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to put it on the bike anyway, guys. Everything changes. Guys, so as you can see from that, you, you get a little bit of vibration. It's what you'd expect. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, it doesn't matter what you use, you're going to get vibration. But there are a huge sort of array of plus points with this particular design. And the main one being that um, it'll take any device. You know, you don't have to have a specialist case. You don't have to buy the firm's own case or anything like that. You know, it is a budget sort of device basically um you know i mean that's that's easily taking my iphone 6 plus you know there's room to spare you could get something a little bit bigger in there as you can see and remember this also has a case on so you know but if i just you know so you can take a really small device there if you wanted to carry you know even if you want to small like, carry like a small uh, i don't know a garmin gps device or something there's no reason why that wouldn't fit in there so, you know, you've got the ball socket and ball, ball and socket joint here with the little adjuster to tighten it up. That works admirably well, it's nice and smooth. And when you lock it, it's locked. So, you know, it's, and then, you know, I'm having to use a lot of strain to shift that after it's locked up. So, I mean, you know, that's not gonna give you any problems. You get more of these rubber parts here for thinner bars, you know, the bolt's nice and easy to fasten up. It's, it just all works. So, I mean, at this, at this price point, you're getting a really 
good quality piece of kit basically even though it is all plastic it's all perfectly strong enough to do the job so uh, you know do check them out guys if you know if you're into cycling I mean I don't see why you know even your hardened sort of road cyclist couldn't use this as long as the tarmac's good you know obviously if you go bashing over a lot of potholes and stuff like that you know at a high rate of speed then obviously you, you want to be on a mountain bike rather than a road bike and then on top of that you would be better off uh, looking maybe for something a little bit stronger for the long term use perfectly adequate for commuters and road cyclists alike as long as they're going smooth as you can see I tested it on sort of there's a few potholes around it's not a brilliant piece of tarmac um, I was going to try it down our local green lane but our local green lane has turned into a brown lane unfortunately guys so I wasn't willing to uh, go and get clarted up because I just didn't have the time to get clarted up and you know have to come back and clean the bike down on myself and everything so but um, yeah if you're looking for this sort of thing guys definitely worth a look so that is the Oso mount from Oso I'll leave all the links below and you can give it a check out so big thank you to them for sending it out for review and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video Cheers guys, see ya.